If it happened in sports in the past five decades, Frank DeFord probably wrote about it. The award-winning journalist started his career in the Sports Illustrated Baseball Department and has gone on to become their senior contributing writer. DeFord is a regular contributor to Real Sports with Bryant Gumbel and NPR. Recently, DeFord took a timeout to talk to ONR's Bob Sands about the universality of baseball and the future of football. If a stranger from Mars came down, he could figure out football pretty, pretty quickly. Oh, I see. They get four. To, oh, yeah, I got it. And they got to go from here to there. And, you, you know, you, you can get 90% of it pretty quickly. Can't do that in baseball. I remember the first time I ever saw a game of team handball. It took me about 30 seconds to figure out 90% of the game. I mean, <laughs> and, and all games, all back and forth games are that way. Baseball's much more intriguing. And, and, and in, in many respects, I think a better game because of it, because it's, it's, it's different. How important is picking up the pace of the game to the future of baseball? I said it's, it's, it's too many strikeouts. I mean, what you want is the ball in play. And the pitchers just come in now, and they're so good. And guys are trying to hit home runs. And, and, it, and they don't move fast enough. The rules are there to enforce them. If you enforce a 24-second clock in basketball, there's no reason why you can't enforce, I think it's a 15-second clock in baseball. But for some reason, they don't. And I think, I think you know, it's, it's nice that it's a timeless game. We've all celebrated that through the years, and that is one of its, its charms. But, but too much timeless yes. is too much. Let's talk about football for a moment. In attempting to protect players, has the game gone too far or not far enough in your mind? Football has the added advantage of being violent. I mean, let's, let's not kid ourselves. That's, that's a great part of its charm for, for an awful lot of people. It's not just the quarterback throwing an extraordinary pass. It's him doing it under jeopardy of about to be clobbered. That's what makes it work. It's, it's, a, it's a good game, but I don't know how they're going to, I mean, change it without taking the very nature of the game away. The, the nature of the game is, is brutality. It really is. And, and, and how you distill that out and still have a football game, and that's basically what those announcers you're talking about are saying. Um, and and what, what intrigues me is who's going to keep playing football? More and more middle-class parents are saying, I don't want my sons to play football. And, and so you, you've got America's game being played, it appears, by less and less Americans. And, and it's just, you know, it's, it's becoming like boxing used to be, where boxing was always a game that you didn't get in it unless you had to, because it was too brutal. So you, any kind of game that you, that you can play is, I think, better for a boy than, than, than football. And more and more parents are saying that. And, uh, so it's going to be very intriguing to me to see what's going to happen in the next 15, 20 years as, as middle class kids stop playing football, even though the NFL continues to be a popular entertainment. Oh, yeah. Very much so. No, I, I mean, the NFL ain't going to go away. Don't anybody think that. <laughs> They'll always find whatever it is, 800 people who are going to go out there and, and risk it for a million dollars.